Hi guys, so today I wanted to make a video um, to talk about lice and chickens. First of all, I uh, wanted to clarify a couple of things. Don't ever assume that a bird is uh, parasite free when you bring it home. Always look beneath the surface of the feathers to see what's hiding underneath. Uh, another thing I wanted to bring up is if you have children or if you're paranoid about lice affecting your kids, please don't worry. Uh, lice are species specific and chicken lice will not infect your kids. Uh, moving on to the bird, uh, I'm going to use the bird in this picture here because um, the photos that I'm going to show you in just a second actually all came from her. Um, this is a black copper moran's hen that was uh, rescued from somebody who really didn't know how to take care of their birds very well. I'm going to bring up some pictures here to show you what we found when we uh, lifted her up and looked underneath her feathers. Now when you look at this photo, this bird looks perfectly healthy. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her on the outside. She looks like she could just walk right into a flock and be perfectly fine. And you will see that that is not the case. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the first photo. All right, so in this photo, we have the underbelly of the hen, which is directly between the legs um, on the belly. You can clearly see there's just lice everywhere. Um, the skin is red, irritated, flaky. Um, and if you look on the left, you'll see the feathers that are in the skin, and the base of the feathers is covered with little white, I don't know, almost looks like foam, but these are actually the egg sacs that the lice have deposited on the base of the feathers. Here's another area going up a little bit more towards the vent. Um, and again, you can see already starting eggs on some of the feather shafts. And yet another area, um, not quite so many, you can see the, the eggs being laid um, again to the left, but look at the skin, it's still red and itchy. This photograph is really good. Um, you can see that the egg sacs here that these females have been laying, and I'm pretty sure that all these lice that are crawling around those egg sacs, I'm fairly certain that these would be female lice that are there to deposit more egg sacs and create more lice. Um, these can get very large. The lice can incorporate um, many feathers and create a large just a chunk and these things can get the, the egg sacs can get hard as a rock I mean they are just impossible to get off the feathers you can you can try all you might but they actually it's almost like they super glue the eggs onto the shaft so they're like impossible to get rid of um, the great area to look for lice right here this is the vent of the hen you can clearly see that there is lice all over the vent I'm gonna go ahead and move on to a couple different photos here um, another close-up you can see those massive egg sacs that this bird's been walking around with these huge egg sacs that are attached to the back of the vent and um, trying to imagine being in that hen's shoes I mean that cannot be comfortable um, that just looks really just, I mean, that is a lot of lice. Hundreds, no, thousands or more b lice crawling on this poor bird. I couldn't imagine having a few of those things on me, much less as many as she's been carrying around for Lord knows how long. All right, this is a good photo. I wanted to put this on there to give you an idea as to how large these egg sacs can actually get. If you take a look at this feather, you can clearly see the feather shaft and it looks like the eggs are just attached to this but if you take a closer look at that you will see that it's not just one feather there's actually six feather tips indicating that there's at least six feathers in this giant ball of eggs Well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys an insight and let you know where to look for um, for lice on your birds or birds that you're potentially thinking about buying. Make sure that you always check your new birds for parasites. Make sure you always quarantine um, and make sure your birds come from good homes. Uh, I did make the video today 
but I have to give all the credit to Cleopatra, who is the hen that you see in the photograph. She is officially lice-free and enjoying the good life. And I wanted to thank all of you for watching the video. I hope that I gave you guys a little bit of an insight. If you have questions about how to get rid of lice, feel free to shoot me an email. And depending on how many emails I have, I might make a video on how to get rid of them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.